Which of the following is an assumption the author of the passage makes? Let's start with A. The crops displaced by the flooding of the Sea River would not be viable if we're planted in areas unaffected by flooding. Where does it talk about the Sea River flooding? That's where we want to go in the passage. So I look here at sentence number three, and it said that the Sea River could have had tributaries diverted, and that would lead not only to severe flooding, but lack of sufficient water for subsistence crops. Now, is there anything else? Well, read on. Such a view, however, fails to account for the resilience of a people capable of transferring crops. And so it's important to sometimes read after if you aren't getting enough information. What this information is saying here is, or what the assumption here is, is that, hey, look, we don't have water for these subsistence crops over here. Hey, where should we go? Let's move over there. And now we can take these subsistence crops and plant them over there because there's more water. The assumption is that you can just transfer crops from one settlement to the other. Now, what does answer choice A actually say? The crops displaced by the flooding, that's what's going on here, of this river, would not be viable if we planted in areas unaffected by flooding. The assumption is that what? They would be viable. Hey, they should have just picked up the subsistence crops from there and found a place that was closer to water. What is A doing, though? A is challenging this assumption that the author's making, but it's actually not the assumption itself. The assumption would be without the word not here. And so therefore, A is not an assumption. B, adapting to crop subsistence involves some level of central governments. Where do we see that? Well, if we look here towards the end, it says without the central governments needed to adapt to crop subsistence patterns. What's it saying? It's saying that, hey, you can't just have subsistence crops by yourself and kind of figure it out with your little band of men and women. You actually need to have central governance. And that is an assumption. So to adapting to crop subsistence involves some level of central governments is an assumption he's making. C, feuding clans are not capable of sustaining a viable population in the wake of ecological catastrophe. Where does that take place? It says, without the central governments needed to adapt to the crop subsistence patterns, the Olmec likely became a collection of feuding clans and thus within a few generations all but disappeared. What's the assumption here is, well, you know, we have some issues here with the environment and now we're just a bunch of clans and that that will be enough to make them all disappear when you have these feuding clans and so the assumption here is that feuding clans when there's an ecological catastrophe they are not capable of carrying out a population of making sure it keeps going on and on they'll just fight each other out and the end and so that is an assumption that the passage makes so the answer choices are b and c